You wouldn't play me in a rousing game of sequence? They did say it's the biggest volume of books they've ever had because they haven't done it in two years, I guess. They said they had uh, two years worth of books. So this is like a constipated book fair. I've never <laughs> seen it like this. This is insane. You guys find anything cool? Dr. Seuss book, a critter's Jack and the Beanstalk. Gloria found that one. A book about the chess characters. I found that one. She found that one. And Sweet Dream Stories. Awesome. I found that one. She found that one too. And she says she's all done in here, so we'll go out. Wow, I didn't even find John yet and you're already done. Have you ever seen it like this? No, but I don't usually come this early. But actually, this is a lot bigger than it has ever been. There's way more books. And we haven't done an episode about it since 2015. And it's still an extensive line. Well, but it also goes on for like a week. It, it, it does. It's open until next weekend. Yeah, but the good books, you know. I, I was looking for some sections that are now in this. I thought they were going to be over there. Like I was like looking the foreign language, see if there's any Japanese books. It's a favorite type of my book. Mm. And old computer books I'm a little interested in. I once injured myself severely on one of those as a teenager. Severe? It had a very sharp edge on it, and I walked up to it, and it was much higher or I was much lower. And I still have a big scar on my leg right here Whoa. from running into one of those at the St. John's Fair in like wow. 92, 93. It's still there. I'm not gonna show it to the camera because <laughs> it's a little high. I think I still attended the fair. Oops. I just kind of, I had long pants on, so I just ignored it. Thank you, our shit is full. We were pausing book donations until September 3rd. Yeah, I mean, people donate books all through the year. Yeah, I'd like to learn before it's too late. There's no instruction manual. No set of rules. There's no instruction manual for you? You didn't come with one? No set of rules. Nope. Just give me love. Aww. I'm pretty sure after you came out, an instruction manual came out too, and we left it at the hospital. Look at this chaos of boxes. It gives you an idea of like, how many books there were. But if there's that much that's donated, how come there's this much that's bought, you know? Because different people donated than buying them. I think it's very common for people to come here and buy books and then read them and then just donate them back. Like an ad hoc rental system? Yeah, you just pay a small fee. You can keep it if you'd like. This is an outline of traditional Chinese culture. I am interested in Chinese culture, but probably not enough to buy a book. Classic Japanese art. The aisles are... Yeah. And some of them contain a pole like that one, which is just a no-go for me. <laughs> I don't think there's any way I can manage it. No, you'd have to I'd have morph. To like, like seriously. <laughs> Hope that you want to learn French because you're yes. stuck. I am a big fan of these books. I can always spot them because they always are styled the same. They're filled with like local history of an area. I have a few of them. I still have seen no computer books. Maybe they just considered them obsolete. I saw Microsoft Word 2010 for dummies. Okay. PowerPoint 2010. Okay. Plain and simple. Oh, this is a cool filmmaking book. It is? Yeah, it's by John Pearson. He's the guy who discovered Kevin Smith. That's pretty awesome. What would it cost? It's unknown, but I'm sure it's not very it's much. It's 90s indie cinema. That's what yeah. that's about. I'm very interested. Well, you did it. Did Look you? at that. Squeeze right through. But it was requirement on this being the art table, because otherwise... <laughs> it had to be sparse. At book fairs, I'm always interested in, like, what's book adjacent? Like, board games, but what else? Yes, there are board games inside, you know, like and classic light. books. A massive amount of DVDs. Yeah? Massive. Way more than you would expect. Wow. Very little in terms of old computer books. Kind of surprising. Maybe they purged them out. You would look for like a vintage manual or something yeah, like that. Yeah, like there's a lot of cool old computer books, especially yeah. stuff from the 80s. Maybe that stuff, they got rid of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, our collectors just snatched it up over the years. Holy moly. Way more. Whoa. Way table more. after table after table of DVDs. And CDs. Looks like a lot of CDs. Look, Cheers 1 through 6 for 8 bucks. I mean, you wouldn't need this in HD anyway. No, I think this is a very good deal. Religious courses. On VHS or what? DVD? It's taped closed, so I don't know. I think it's DVD. Yes, with like many guides. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, nicely sorted. Clerks with Clerks too. Yeah, it's actually in alphabetical order, I think. I've kind of like lost interest in consumerism as a yeah. you know topic, but 10 years ago, I would have eaten this up. Yeah? I would have gone home with baskets full. CDs, lots of CDs. I've been like a fan of homemade CDs to this day. Absolutely. The only trouble is, is that my car doesn't have a player and Nina's player has died and like, are we really going to fix the CD player when we have Bluetooth? That's too bad. It's kind of like the end of an era. That's yeah. why there's so many CDs here, I'm sure. Right. Some big Rocky collection. The Rocky mythology for eight. Oh, it goes up to five. How many older seasons of Family Guy are in like every DVD sale you've ever Disney. seen? The Lord of the Rings special edition for six bucks. Yep. I mean, I know that you would prefer the Blu-ray. Yes. But there's so much great content on here and the extra content is all in SD. That's one of the few Blu-rays I own is the complete Lord of the Rings trilogy. You could do worse. You wouldn't play me in a rousing game of sequence? I absolutely would, but you never would play a browsing <laughs> game of sequence with me. What are you doing sequence? I have no idea. I've never played it. It's a claim 
seems to be an exciting game of strategy. There's a couple of Frankie compliant pictogories. Is that what it's called? Sure. Scategories. Uh, yeah. yeah. Trivial Pursuit. You like that? No. Monopoly. A famous no. hater. A famous hater. Jump horse. We're going to play it. Jump horse. An exciting game for the whole family. You like an Uno? I, you know, I associate it with my grandparents. Yeah. Oh, this seems like another game in the jump horse class. The sailors game. Fun for sailors and no one else. Can you play sea shanties while you play it? Uh, I think you could. Oh, it's wrong, me bully boys. I was going to get this, but then I wasn't going to buy anything else, so I wasn't going to wait in line. But now, now that you're buying, it's called say anything. One person has to roll doubles. Until one person does, the other person has to come up with words that start with a certain letter. Oh. And you compete on that basis. Four for a full game of Mousetrap? Oh, classic. Yep. The commercials are still present in my mind. Mousetrap, I guarantee it's the craziest trap you'll ever see. Just turn the crank and snap the plank and boot the marble right down the chute. Now watch it roll and hit the pole and knock the ball in the rubber up top, which hits the man into the pan. The trap is set. Here comes the net. Ouch! Why did you abandon say anything? You need at least four. You can't scare four. up four people? So, how about a rousing game of sequence? It sequence. is the same copy, right? It's not like there's multiple copies of sequence available. Or you know maybe what? that's part of the game. The complete Dickens mm -hmm. for 10 bucks. It's a lovely set. I don't have, like, a place to put a big set of books or anything. The Junt Memorial Library. Sorry. Sorry. It's a good game. In a pickle? Does a sofa fit in a shopping cart? I'm in a pickle. Are we sure board games don't suck? No, I'm pretty sure. This actually seems a little fun. What's your favorite board game? Let it be you said that I thwapped him for that. My favorite of all? Oh, I have so many I like. That's such a, it's kind of an unfair question. <laughs> well then, tell me a board game you like. Uh... Do you play board games? Instead of saying anything, it'll be in a pickle. Yes, yeah, we won't be saying anything, but we'll be in a pickle. Clue, missing knife? Certain scenarios can't play out. There's no need to shout! I'm not shouting! There's an episode of Bluey where they play chess, and yep. so Gloria keeps asking us to bring out the chess board, and yeah. we play it a little. No, not chest. Chess. Yeah, chest. See, no one would ever play chess with me on a board, though. Well, Gloria may. You played the NES computer one between box mechanisms and we were cracking up. I lost terribly, too. I like life. I used to play life. Basic game. Catchphrase only at Target. This looks even older. A backgammon game of India. I gotta tell you, I used to love playing Porchisi. Yeah? Like with my grandma. It only requires two. Who's old? All right, you gonna be able to make it down these steep steps? That's a pretty good haul, yeah. more than I expected you to get. I might pop back when it's real calm. He bought two board games, including Parcheesi, and he left. Oh, and well, we he, had a... he does love board games. He's very fond of them. Yes. And he has so many favorites. Yes, it's Romy, Billy Boys, we're in a hurry, boys, but we got a long way to go. We'll sing and we'll dance and make friends.